guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl belly and i am back here with another video as you can tell by the title this here is going to be a uh, part two of interview help um some of you guys have upcoming face-to-face -face interviews and um, some virtual interviews and i want to help you guys get your dream job okay once before the time i was in that same boat that you are currently in and i had so many questions did research and stuff like that so um, I just want to be able to help now. So, no long talk and let's jump straight into the video, alright? Boom. So if you see me looking down, it's because my notes are here. I try not to waste your time and ramble on, so I would like to just stay on topic. So, before I jump into the questions, I'm going to uh, state out some general questions um, and answer them. Because some of you guys um, have asked me this or I've seen you ask in other groups. So I want to go ahead and address that here. So first one, first general question would be, can you be or apply to be a flight attendant without previous flight attendant experience? And the answer to that is yes. As long as you have customer service, which I'm sure you do from previous jobs, then you met one of the minimum requirements to apply for a flight attendant. And there's no age limit to being a flight attendant, so I do not want to hear you tell yourself, "Oh, I'm too old to get this job," or blah. blah. No, you're you're not too old. As long as you got a pep in your step and you can evacuate the aircraft in less than 90 seconds, then you're good. You're able to apply for the job. So please go ahead and do that. You know the kids have left the nest, and you feel more comfortable now to get back out here and accomplish that dream job. So go ahead and do it. All right, next question. Um, a lot of you guys don't know what to wear <laughs> to the interviews or even the virtual interviews because they're just like this, you know, face to face on video though. Um, but to answer that question is to dress business professional, okay? So wear a suit, a blazer, a blouse, uh, anything with a collar, you know, around that nature when I did my virtual interview I was um, literally on a trip already and um, so I ended up wearing this uniform so I wore, so, so I wore my uh, uniform for another airline uh, to do my interview which <laughs> I didn't have nothing else to wear because at the time when I got the invite I was literally on a four-day trip and I didn't want to wait till last minute till when I get home because if I if I waited till when I got home that was literally the last day to submit it and I didn't want to do that so I just wore what I have on this is business professional it has a collar so yeah and again um when I went to my face-to-face -face interview then that time I, I wore business attire I wore um a blouse and a blazer okay so I recommend the blazers they're really cute Amazon got some cute stuff guys um even gentlemen's too um, you can find something from on Amazon you know, just wear something business casuals, especially for the guys. You guys look good in the suits, so I recommend wearing one of those so because you stand out when you guys have on the suits. But yes, so next question: um, Do you have to use the star method when answering the questions? Okay, so the star method, in case you don't know what that is, basically um, a method that you can use to answer interviewer questions um, by discussing the um, situational the situation the task your action and your respond to the question so that's the start situation task action respond so the interviewer um, basically when you answer that question in that method the interviewer receives all relevant information that they needed pertaining to that question so it allows you the um, interviewee to answer the question without going off task or rambling on it basically keeps you structured okay um, so yeah it's just a structured manner of responding to um, interview questions all right um, so so yes yeah, so now that I explain what the star method is do you have to use that method and the answer is yes and no uh, the reason why I say yes and no is because you need to do the research and figure out which um, not which but 
based on the airline that you're applying for, the company, uh, do your research and um, figure out or gather what type of company you're going to work for, okay? So, like the legacy airlines, uh, they would recommend the STAR method. And not all, not the whole three, because I have a story with that. So, just to put it out there, Delta and United. I think it was Delta, the one that started it. Um, so, yes, if you have your interviews with them, uh, I would suggest you use the STAR method. They Delta, they even tell you that they want you to answer in that method. So, yes. Um, as for AA, um, when I interviewed with AA, I started off with answering the questions in the STAR method. And I felt like midway in the interview, I wasn't getting any vibes I'm an energy person I walk I work off the of energy and I just felt like it was just you know straight black and white with me when I was answering those questions I wasn't you know showcasing myself so then I ditched the star method and then I just started you know talking about myself or highlighting myself and I felt like I got better results with that because the interviewer she me and her were like you know talking and, and laughing now during the interview the first half of it it was just awkward <laughs> so that's why i would say yes and no so it just depends on which airline you're going for try to know what type of company you're um you know presenting yourself in front of and base your judgment off of that some of the other airlines they don't require you to um use the star method but if they see you doing it you know they take that into account or, or however um as, as i say I, yes and no it, it just depends on you depends on the airline that you're going for do your research try to figure out what works for you if you're the type of person that you can you know still portray your personality uh, and be bubbly during that structured manner then go right ahead and do the star method but for me it just wasn't working like i just I just felt like a robot, you know? So, anyways. Um, so, next question. Can you be a flight attendant with a criminal background? Now, to answer that question, yes, you can. Um, again, you need to uh, do your research on the airline that you're going for. But most airlines, you are required to pass a 10-year background check. Okay, so that means if you have a charge more than 10 years ago, 11, 12, 13, 15, 20 years ago, you're Gucci. It's not going to show up on your background, so you can um, stop stressing yourself out. Um, it's not going to show up on your background, but also during that um, background check, lately I noticed that they ask you, okay, so before they used to just say, have you ever had any charges, felony or misdemeanor, all within the 10 years? And then you would just say no, and then boom, that was it, you'll, you'll pass your background check. But now, I, lately I realized that now they, they say, the question goes, um, have you ever been charged with a criminal uh, charge or activity um, within 10 years? So you'll say no. But then the next question right after that, it will say, have you ever been charged or arrested like ever within your lifetime so then you know you have to say yes to that so if you get that question i would advise you to just be honest and be upfront about it because that shows you know growth as well so answer that question um truthfully and say yes and also the additional information that it asks i think it asks you to describe the the case in a manner or the charge and stuff like that. So you just basically answer that question and then um, you submit your background and it's up to the company to uh, proceed with you, all right? Depending on your charge, they'll look at all that stuff and make their decision from there. And again, I would advise that you be honest uh, when answering that question, okay? Again, it depends on the charge, it depends on all that, how long, how much time has gone by. So, but to answer the question, yes, you can be a flight attendant with a previous uh, background or a previous charge, okay? Um, 
it's called life guys and we, and we grow from it uh so yes you made a mistake years ago um you're now here at this present time your interviewer is going to be able to see that you're a changed um, individual and they're going to go ahead and decide what to do from there you know so like i said always try don't if you don't try then your answer is no right there okay they can only say yes or no and if you don't try it's automatic no so just try and you might get a yes um so yes i answered that first part of it and then uh, I was also saying that also the airlines um, for the in order to pass the background check there's a list of disqualifying charges so if you have those uh, charges then unfortunately sorry but you won't be able to be a flight attendant so just look up um, those charges so yes I feel like I'm rambling guys and I don't want to ramble so next question first though Please do me a favor and hit the like button, okay? So far, I'm giving you guys some good information, some good some good tips that you can use. Um, go ahead and hit the like button for me, please. I appreciate it, and please help me on to my goal of 5,000 subscribers. I can't do it without you guys, so please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, as for the tips now, what I have to say is <coughs> stop saying that you want to fly I love people when you go to these interviews or you're doing the video interview and they ask you why do you want to be a flight attendant do not say because I love to travel or because I love people obviously we know that you want to travel that's why you're applying <laughs> and uh, of course you have to love people because you're coming in this industry which is basically dealing with customers all day so yes don't say that all right when answering questions about yourself or personality type questions use words like um, use adjective words okay so when you get those type of personality questions don't say because I love people like I said don't don't say that or, or I want to travel instead use adjective words okay use words that describe yourself use words like reliable flexible dependable um, trustworthy hardworking um, kind you know responsible you know stay in those nature okay use those words those words help highlight yourself you know try pointing out your strengths and professional skills that contribute to you being a good leader or team member for that company so that's my little tip to you guys use word use adjective words stay away from the obvious i want to travel or i love people no don't say that okay guys so the video was getting a little too long for me so i decided to go ahead and chop it in half and post this part of it but if you're still interested and you're following along please by all means check out the other half of the video i'm gonna post it as well i'll also leave a link in the description box uh, both videos will be up it's just that uh, for me i just i just don't like long videos <laughs> so i went ahead and chopped it in half but thank you guys i appreciate your support again the rest of the questions and some good tips are in the other half of the video so make sure you check it out thank you I'm here before